Hi everyone, just a quick video on the DTI gauge, what it is and what it does and, and how we use it in the motor vehicle uh, industry. So, first of all, DTI gauge is a dial test indicator and it's a measuring device to check for movement, distortion, play in various motor vehicle components, some of which I've got on the bench here. So, simply put, we've got a magnetic base that we can turn on or off to make sure the, uh, the measuring device doesn't move and loads of a series of arms with linkages that all need tightening up when you do the test. Now the main bit is obviously the dial indicator itself, the face. Uh, we've got a spring-loaded um, contact point here, which will rest against various motor vehicle components and it will find or pick up movement in certain parts or, or warping. Um, we've got the face here, which is the actual face is adjustable, the gauge. So once you've set it up, because you want to normally set it up under a little bit of tension against the component you're testing, and then you set the dial to zero by turning this face here. So the face itself, as you can see, is shows zero to 100 effectively. So each 10 on this is one millimeter. So the whole face, if you go around one time, would be 10 millimeters. So quite an accurate piece of uh, measuring equipment. So uh, as I mentioned, a couple of items that you can test with it. So things like brake discs, what you do is you put the brake disc against the dial test indicator, set it to zero, and then rotate the disc around. Uh, and obviously that would indicate that would show you how much deflection the brake has got, so how warped it is, so how damaged the surface is, and whether it's usable or not. Uh, other items, uh, such as this one as well, the camshaft, so you make sure that the uh, DTI gauge is right 90 degrees against the component you're testing, like so, and then you lock the base, and then for checking the play in the bearings on this, you pull the camshaft side to side, back and forth, uh, and any reading of what we call end float, would turn up on your DTI gauge. So with this particular one, it seems like there's no end float. Make sure your head's clamped to the bench, obviously. But yeah, uh, so that would be end float or run out test. So you can do that with camshafts, crankshafts, uh, and obviously rotating components like a brake disc can be checked for warping. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next one.